uh, moments from now. Meantime, on court one, Serena Williams taking the first set 6-3 over Hentukova and leading 3-1 in the second set. Waiting for play to resume here, and in the meantime, let's uh, give a listen to the conversation that uh, our Mary Carrillo had before the tournament began with the number two seed, Serena Williams. You always spoke about being one and two. Your mm -hmm. father prophesized it, and of course he was right. But how difficult is it to speak to each other about your goals and dreams because they're similar? I mean, it's one thing to talk to the press about it yeah. and the fans. You know what? We never talk about tennis off court. I, I think our lives are so different. We're always doing something different. We always are involved in another class or enrolled in something online. And we really don't talk about tennis off the court. You don't, huh? No, because tennis for us it's it's not um, we uh, we value our spiritual things to come first in our lives and then our family and then tennis and so it's just not number one in our life i mean it's a huge part don't get me say, wrong it's for a number three priority <laughs> boy <laughs> you two are doing well. <laughs> so it's just that it hasn't taken up that much yeah what is the best part of your game do you feel the best part of my game right now is my mental side because it doesn't matter how good you're playing, how good you're running. And in the if you're not mentally strong, mm -hmm. then your mind can go and come. And we've seen a lot of great players that just didn't have the mental stability. Because in the end, I've been playing for a long time, and I really don't think if one side is weaker, eventually it's going to come up. It, it's not like I'm going to just kill myself anymore. In the past, <laughs> yes. <laughs> in the past, I would have killed myself with it. But now it's, I, it really doesn't matter what side people hit to, to me, because it's danger. Danger! Danger! Get on the floor! Right here! Danger! The last couple of years, you haven't won here, but right. you look so good, you know, until the, the last round you played, whether right. it was, a, you know, against, against Venus and against Jennifer. Are you ready for that not to happen again? No. It's different, and you can see my results. Times are different for me. I'm more mentally stronger than I have been in the past. I'm more mentally focused, and, you know, I just wanted more. In the past, I thought I wanted it, and I was pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I did, but it's just a total different feeling from now. How, why is that a change? What, when you were talking, were you... You're saying you were talking the talk, but not necessarily yeah, walking? Yeah, I probably I wasn't ready to walk, but <laughs> I thought I was. But when it all boiled down to it, I wasn't. But now it's just, it's totally different. I'm a little bit older, <laughs> I guess. Not much. <laughs> and it's just, I want to do more in my career. I want to leave a legacy. I don't want to just play to play. I've realized that now I'd like to leave something behind. I really want to win Wimbledon one day, so hope if this year uh, can happen, I hope, but if not, you know, I, one day I definitely want to take home the Wimbledon title. It's Wimbledon. I mean, this is Wimbledon. I've never won Wimbledon. I, I would love to belong to the All England Club. Would you? Yes, I would. So I'm definitely going to try to do my best here. So while uh, you were listening to Serena Williams, she took the court again. She's warming up with Daniela Hanchukova. Hope to resume play shortly on Port One. <laughs>